good morning so we are now in day 11 <laughs> so i decided to take myself to the movies it's an early movie because i need to do some other stuff later so here we go So I just finished seeing Black Panther. Of course, I absolutely love it. Um, I love the tribute to Chadwick. I thought it was a, a good, a good farewell to his, you know, legacy. And I love the ending. You know, the credit after the ending. Make sure y'all stay and watch that. Um, that was a good setup, and I think they did a good job by not replacing him so quickly, but. Y'all know, if y'all seen it, I'm like the last person to see it. And then when I came out, Bath and Body Works still having a sale. But not on candle, on the body product. So of course, I picked it, some stuff up. Mostly, you know, shower gel and some hand um, cream. But that's about it. So, heading to another store that I'm going to get something to eat. Because that movie was long as hell. Long. Hey guys, so I'm back home. I cannot stand this time of year. Everything just get dark real quick. And I feel like I've been out the house all damn day. But needed to say, I enjoyed the movie. It is a little bit long, which is probably why it took me this long to see it because I knew it was gonna be long. But I enjoyed it. So, um, and also I went to this Indian restaurant afterwards. And you know, I forgot to record because your girl was enjoying the food. But I love Indian food. I just don't eat it a lot because something in that they put in their food sometimes doesn't agree with me. Um, I'm not sure what spice it is. Spices. I know of one. But I think there's more than one spice as it's just strong on me. But anyway, let me show you what I got before I go into the book. So, so I haven't been to buy some body works in probably... To buy body product. Now, I buy candles all the time from them. Recently, I bought a, uh, two candles. Like, maybe Thanksgiving week, I think I did. Or maybe before that. I can't remember. But I buy candles from them every so often. Um, but body stuff, easily. Eight or nine years. Um, so, I went in. They had a sale. Everything that they had, except for the candles, were uh, $4.95. So, I had to. So let me give you the rundown of what I got. So I got a lot of bath stuff, shower stuff. So I got shower gel and this one is sleep. Uh, this one stress relief. And so I got three different ones. And then let's see what this one is. And this one is, it says uh, joy. Um, and so I got that. Then I got scrub, mainly for my feet, guys. I'm an island girl. I love to walk around barefoot. No socks, no shoes, that's me. If I could walk outside barefoot, I would. <laughs> that's just me. And so oftentimes, the back of my feet and my bottom, you know, gets a little hard. So I use a lot of foot scrub, not well, not scrubs in general, on my, on my feet. So this is like a Jupiter and stage joy so i don't know what the texture is um of this it says salt body scrub so because you, you can't you have to tear this off and i don't want time for that right now so i'm going to use this on my feet knees probably like the elbows good areas to put stuff like that and then i got two of the body cream which i would not use on my body these are just going to be for my hand so i have a uh, deep breath and inspired joy. This one is um, what I'm I have right now, and so let me try this one on my hand. Now the thing about these, <laughs> let me just give you a rundown. I love using these, and these are um, I hoping it's good because the one I currently use. It's from an expensive brand in Sephora, which I probably could get about eight, nine, maybe ten of these for that one 
um, tube that I buy, but it works. It's soft for my hands because when I'm doing a lot of art and craft, you're doing painting and you're doing um, a lot of paper and you, especially when I, even when I'm making earrings, you saw the other day, my nails was completely destroyed from working when I was doing those earrings. So I often have to use this. Plus in the winter time, my hand is extra dry. So I'm hoping these are actually good because this would save me a lot of money <laughs> if it works. But that, you know, but you know how it is with these. Sometimes they don't work. So let's try this. Mmm. It smells like I just got out of the bathroom. That's that's the that's the smell I'm getting. And I and I like. So so yeah. Put everything back in the bag. And I don't feel too bad because, like I said, they want the $5. <laughs> well, $5. Please. They're $95, please. Round up five. Because <laughs> that's what it is. So I am going to, let's talk about, what I read recently. All right. So let's talk about. What the Fireflies New Kai Harris. Now, this is a YA. It is a true YA. But not a YA that you get annoyed with where, you know, it's it's a YA of young girls growing pain and grief and how they handle it. They're young. Um, they're not getting the communication that they should be getting as um, children who have lost parents. You have... Uh, a 10 year old and a 14 year old so you have a 10 year old who is uh, witness her father's body that was the person who discovered her father and her father is a substance abuser and um and the mother is um struggling to keep the family together but of course when this happens she falls apart and she is not um capable of taking care of her children which she's fully aware of which is why she took them to her father their grandfather that they don't really have a relationship don't really know the guy and here they are in this town that has um a lot of racial issues um with the next door is a white family and there's that don't play with them that kind of deal um but the thing about this story is I liked how it talks about grief with young children who are often neglected when it comes to grief. It's, it's, for them, it's a little bit more, um, it, it feels like it's not as, as heartbreaking as an adult because adults are um, maybe aware of the person more, know the person more, so there's a struggle there that's different. Where kids, it often results of confusion. They are they're completely confused. They don't understand um, how people grieve, and they themselves are learning what grief means and um, and struggling with it. And so you get that in this, and you get that how important family is when you are grieving. And this young girl is now exposed to certain things that she shouldn't be exposed to and how she's navigating through all of that because she feels lonely. And this is another part of grief where everyone is in their own world and learning how to deal with their own grief that they can't see you. They can't see how you're grieving. And you get that in this story, when I, which I thought was, as a YA, was very good. It has some trauma traumatic e events in this that I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of why it needed to be in this story. I, I think oftentimes I find that a lot of new art authors feel that they have to throw that particular trauma in young black women's story that as if that is like the common take and there's so many that do not experience that yes there are a lot that do but there's so many that don't so it didn't need to be in the story um i thought that was just unnecessary and especially since 
how it was dealt with, it was still not dealt with in a proper way for a child who is 10 years old. It, it kind of was brushed away in terms of I'm your sister's keeper theme. And I didn't like that part of the story. That was the only thing about the story that just was not necessary. It didn't need to be in there. If you've read this, you know what I'm talking about. But for the most part, I do like the healing process that they went through. The communication that the father, the grandfather, who himself at their, when their mother were that age, had no idea how to communicate. By the way, guys. It smells better as it, as it, as time goes by. I just went like this and I smelled it. I like this. All right. <laughs> I didn't, I like the way that he was able to come to terms with his, um, what he did wrong as a parent and uh, how he can improve that and fix it with his grandchild, with his grandchildren. Um, there's some things about this that I felt like, um, it, it 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 gave a, some positive light on um, the the relationship with the next door neighbor. I I thought that was interesting adding that because that's that does happen. Um, but it's it's just basically throwing this child into different worlds and exposing her to so many things and how she's learning to navigate and that's what you get from this. So overall, it is a good YA, but you know that one little thing that I felt like it wasn't necessary. You, you don't need to add that kind of trauma in this book for it to be a good book. And all new authors need to learn. It, it don't. You don't need to add it. So if the author ever saw this review. Just know, and I wish other newer author would stop thinking that that needs to be in a book to add some shock value or to make it more dramatic than it needs to be. It was already dramatic as is, and it, that part just was not necessary. So I'm going to leave it at that. With that said, uh, I'm going to end the day. Um, I feel for some dessert, <laughs> but of course I have to make my own dessert because I have to do substitution. Um, which, you know, which sucks for the, for the time wise, but we're going to find something because I just feel like some dessert, you know, so I might have to just scrape up one of those. <sighs> I think I'm doing something. I'm going to do something tonight. I'm going to do something. If I do something, I'll just record it and give you a sneak peek tomorrow. If not, you know, I just suck it up and went to, went to bed later, even though it's still early guys. It's literally like, I don't even think it's five o'clock. It's literally 5.17. It is 5. So, welcome to winter. And it's going to snow tonight. So, that's another thing. It's snowing tonight. So, this means tomorrow. Ooh, tomorrow will be another great situation. But I'm not going to say what I'm going to do tomorrow. But tomorrow will be a good day for that because it's snowing. So, yeah. So, I might, you might get a snowy, uh, you know, vlog tomorrow. Anyway. See you guys later. Yeah. I, I'm a chatty girl today. Yeah. We're, we're not going to get nowhere. But I'm going to end this video right now. So thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.